Hey what's going on guys my name is George and this is Sass Master. Today we're going to check out Sigpol which is a poll creator that you can embed on your site to capture feedback and emails. So it's easy to use, easy to build and you got templates available to get started right away. So I'm going to show you a quick overview of how you can get started. But before we start I want to show you there's a quick deal right now that's pretty attractive. It's $49 and it's a lifetime deal. So that means you pay once and you have it forever. So what does $49 give you? Let's go back down here. And you got these plans available. So $49 gives you 20,000 requests a month and two team members. Now, I personally recommend that you at least get the standard version because you get a whole lot more and you can remove the sick poll branding. Now, depending on what you need, like for example, how many requests and how many team members, it's gonna depend on the plan that you're gonna select. Now, something really cool is that they got an enterprise LTD. That means for 300 bucks, you get 20 sub accounts, 5 million requests, which is a whole lot. And like they said, it's practically unlimited. Unlimited. So check out the plan and grab them when you need. All right, so let's head on over to the dashboard. This is Sig Poll, and I gotta start off. And what I'm going to do is create a brand new poll right now, and I'm gonna call this Poll for Video. Now, the options that we have is that we can allow a widget on all domains, so I don't have to spe specify the domain that we want, but it works on all of them, but we can select each one. In this case, I'm gonna select all domains, create account and let's wait for it to load once it loads it's gonna give us a lot more options to customize now I just gotta say my internet's bad all right so what's the title poll let's just say video poll now the options that we have is where do we want poll to show up in this case I want it to show up in every page but we can select the template that they have and it works really good with Shopify so you can show the poll on post purchases or the status collection pages or product pages so for example, post purchase, the poll would have to be like, hey, how was the purchase process? Did you like it? And you would set the poll with those type of certain questions. And in this case, and in this video, we're gonna select every page, but we can also configure manually if we want. Also for the polls, we can start from scratch or we can select the template. Personally, I, I don't like wasting time. I like using templates and then tweaking it and customizing it to my like, but from a template. So we got these options as template. So we got neck promoter score, feedback, uh, feature feedback, contact us, giveaway, new visitors, customer satisfaction, customer effort. We're gonna select this feature feedback, use this template for this video, and I'm gonna create a poll. And you're gonna see that these are the slides that we have for the poll. And we got a preview window right here, and we can show like next, next, and that's how it's gonna be showing as of this template that we have. And we can close it, and it's gonna show this way. So how do we customize it? Well, we go in here and now we have the options for this certain slide. Now we can show the title on the slide or we can remove it. We can allow participants to skip the slide. So if you want them to be able to skip without having to answer or selecting something, you can allow this. I, I personally wouldn't allow it because they might just skip everything and you wouldn't want that. You want them to actually answer the poll to get the feedback. Now you can hide the slide within the poll. You can use a custom handle to identify the slide and you got a whole bunch of custom rules that you can add right here. You got the handle right here. So feature feedback, quick questions, subtitle, body copy. If you wanna add something there, like more information, you saw how that we got a preview right there. Custom rules, show labels and update slide. Now, if you wanna head over to another slide, you just go from here. And in this case, we have a checkbox slide and here are the options for this one. So here we got red, green, blue, and orange. You can see the preview over here. We can add answers or customize the ones that are there. So like I said, I like using templates because just you can go from there. They just say they already thought of the things that you would need, so you just customize it to whatever. So let's just say for example, this is a poll of products. You would set the products right here and you're ready to go. Or maybe like they have colors or another satisfaction. Was it good service, bad, medium, or whatever, you set it there. That's how you set the slides. So if you don't like a slide, you can remove it. You can just set it to something simple, like remove these and just have like three slides if you want. It just depends on how you're gonna use a poll or add more slides if you need more information. Now let's head on over to general. In general, we got this information like submission, page settings. Remember we said we're gonna use it on all pages. Submission settings, notification settings, so not if, notify me when it's complete. So if I wanna get an email from every single, every single time that someone fills in the poll, you can set that there. Or use account recipient settings. Visibility, 
visibility. You can override visibility, like custom visibility settings for this poll only. And we have these options like hide immediately after completed. So once it's completed, it can remove, show after completed, pop up options, open dynamically, and you got a whole bunch of options there. I turn it off. Next, we have a display, use custom display settings. We can modify all this after we created the poll. Also, if you want to use a custom language, these are the basic things that we have. So for example, next, and you can customize whatever language you want. So instead of selecting it, you can put whatever language you want. So if it were in Spanish, I would put siguiente, like that. And it's, it's so easy to do that you just got to do that. And you got all these options and you can add the custom ones. Next thing we have is manage. So here in manage is where we grab this script right here because this is a script that's going to be embedded on the site. So I have a site right here that we're going to embed it and I'm using Divi Builder. And in Divi Builder, just you head over to theme options, integrations, enable and put it here. Now, if you're using another builder and it doesn't give you the option to put the code, just download a plugin that's called header and footer and you just put, put it in the header and you're done. So let's save this right now. Let's head over to the site. Let's refresh it. Let's wait for it to load. All right, so it's loaded and, oh, sorry, forgot. We gotta, well, we gotta show this. So now it's live. Let's wait for it to go live. Now let's refresh it. And there we go. So this is the poll like widget right there. You can customize this also, and I'll show you in a bit, but let's click on it. And now we have all these options. See, now I say, hey, you know what, I'm sad. Next, this is test, submit, next. And you got all the options that we saw on the poll really fast and really easy in a neat form. So you just embed it and it's easy to use. So here in display, we're gonna click on customize display settings, and you can see right here. We can change the background color, action color, and notification color. So in this case, let's just put like red, oh, sorry, pink, and also this one pink, and we can see it available as we edit it. So it's live preview. This option, let's go a little bit more red, so it's more colorful, and we're gonna put this a little bit more greenish. All right, just like that. We can align position, so we wanna put it left or right, in this case, we put left or right. Uh, do you want to like separate it from the corner? In this case, if we say 50, do you see how it went up? 20. Or if we just want to put zero, it's, it's going to be right at the bottom. So let's keep it at 20. All right. So we can set dynamic line launcher. So change copy of, or icon after the poll is completed. So after it's completed, you can change the icon. Uh, launch text. Do you want to say something when it launches? We can change the icon. You have more options available. See that right there. So depending what your poll is going to be about, you can change these right here. Hide the status of the icon. Maybe you don't want it to show. It's too colorful. You can remove it. Sig poll link display subtle. Remember we said we can remove the sig poll branding. Well, in this case, it's not available. But if you want to remove it, it's there. All right. Custom CSS. If you want to go a bit further with customization, you can set it there. So it's pretty easy to use and straightforward. Once you set your poll, you get a whole bunch of information on your dashboard. Once you start using it, you have responses, participants, emails, votes, and you get all that neat information right here. So poll information, title, visible. And as you start getting polls and feedback, you're gonna see how it starts up showing your, your status here and your analytics. Well guys, this is the deal that's going on. Um, it's recommended, it's easy to use. Like I said, you just build the poll, you embed it on your site, and it's ready to go. It doesn't have to be a WordPress site. It can be any site. Just put the code in there, and it's ready to go. All right, guys. My name is George, and this is SaaS Master. I'll see you guys later.